There has to be something on the playlist to get the badge. So one. Um, it might be more, it might be less. We have an example that we'll show that has quite a few XPs. Um, there's no upper or lower limit. Certainly one, but you know, it could be a lot. Um, second half of your question was, say again. Approvals. Approvals, yes. So the second training that we're going to do is, is going to involve peer review. So you're going to have a little homework after the session and have the opportunity to dig in on this content development work. And then in our second training session at the end of April, you'll come back with the information that you developed and we'll have a little peer review opportunity where people will be talk, where you meet with other people just like those in this room, perhaps many of the people in this room, um, to talk about how you can really make sure um, that you've just got a little more input on making sure that the learning is really rigorous and that the ideas really work. And what I think you're talking about too is also like for the youth issuing right. to youth, right? So in that case, someone at your organization or that's part of your program will need to assess it and say, yes, like this student accomplished these tasks, they completed this XP, and now they sort of deserve the badge associated yeah. with it. And so that's something that your organization will have to exactly. assess. And the platform has functionality that the approver can say, yes, you got it, or they can bounce it back to the student and say, you know, take another crack at this. You got to do a little more work. Yeah, thanks. Other questions? Oh, sorry. Oh, you answer. Yeah.